Hello class, I want to show you the Celtics app today and a little tutorial on it. This is the desktop version. Uh, it's going to be the pretty much the exact same thing as your mobile app. Uh, right here is where you're going to sign up for Celtics and your account. And basically the account just allows you to work on it via the internet on your desktop computer or your laptop, which will then transfer it over to the mobile app that you can finish a script or start a script on the mobile app and then finish it on your desktop, however way that you want to do it. You can also see here too that beyond the script writing, there's a couple other items that Celtics will use. You can create storyboards, which we will touch on. You can also uh, create a shot list. You can also stay on budget with, um, you know, a budget that you can create via Celtics. So it has many different items and opportunities that you can have in the film world via the one app. But we're going to touch basically just on the script writing for this tutorial right now. When you sign into your account, which I am in right now, this is basically what will come up for you either on the phone or, like I said, on the desktop version. And these are, you know, a sample that they provide for you, a script that I have written, um, and then just another one that I want to do for a test. If you want to start a new project, you just go simply right over here to New Project, click on that, and you're going to title it whatever you want. We'll just go with uh, Test Project, and you're just going to hit, you can uh, also share it with, if you have, you know, different contacts, different groups, um, you know, that you wanted to collaborate with, you can share whatever you work the script on with them. Um, and we're just going to hit create. And this is what it looks like when you first come up. So as you can see here, this is the template that you will have on your mobile app as well. Uh, and this is the script itself, and then this is going to be your toolbar. And this drop-down menu here is key because it's all of the elements that you can put into a script. And the cool thing that Celtics does is you click on the element, and it will format it how you would in a professional script manner. Uh, so we'll begin with the scene heading, and let's type exterior school day. And that's going to be your first scene heading. And as you can see, it pops into the navigation section here, and I'll show you on a sample script that all of the scene headings will be in this navigation bar, and you can just go from one scene heading to another. It's, it's pretty neat. So if you hit enter, it goes to the next item in a script, which is gonna be your action, and we'll just put something with kids getting off of buses. And then if you hit enter, you can put in more action or I'm going to switch it over here and create a character. And I'm going to just create teacher. And once you create a character, Celtics again will also remember your character and save it. So when you only type in, let's say TEA, teacher will come up and you can just click that character without writing in the entire character. If you hit enter, it will automatically go to the next section, which is dialogue. Pretty cheesy line, but you get the picture on what you can do with that. And then if you hit enter, you can create another character. And then dialogue. And so on. So that's that's pretty much the basics of that. And I'm going to you know pull up a sample script so you can see it a little bit better. So this is the script from The Wizard of Oz, which I'm sure most of you, if not all of you, have seen the movie or at least you know about. Um, and it's the first couple scenes. And I wanted to just to show you the couple things I was talking about. So here in the navigation bar, here is the different scenes that you can automatically go to. So if you wanted to go to the third scene, you just click on it and it takes you automatically to the third scene in the script. 
so you don't have to keep scrolling and scrolling and scrolling to find scene one, scene two, and so on. Um, and then as you can see here, you know, as I was showing you, here's the action character and the dialogue from the character. A couple other quick things to get into is that, as you can see here, are notes. And right here it says the notes can be added. You know, and that's for many different elements of a script that you wanted to add a note, you know, for the director or for yourself, you know, that, um, you know, you wanted this to happen at this time and you want to make a little note of it. So you can even add a note in. And, you know, basically the last thing I wanted to do is just show you the actions that you can do right here. And you can print it, save it as a PDF, you can export it to text. Um, the main thing is if you print it or save it as a PDF, then you can email it to yourself or anyone else, and they don't even have to have the Celtics program, and it will be read as a PDF file, which is pretty neat as well. So that's just the absolute basics of it, and it's pretty cool because, like I said, you can intertwine it between your phone. So, you know, if you're on a long bus trip or you know, you're, you know, sitting at home, you don't have computer access, but you have your phone, you can continue to write your script and it will automatically save it for you right there. So then when you get access to a computer, you know, if you like the bigger screen atmosphere, you can continue writing the script right from the last point you let left off on the phone. So it's a, it's a phenomenal app that I, I want us all to utilize this year with writing our scripts. Thank you.